Hi, my name is uh, Chad Boswick and I'm with OD Video in Lubbock, Texas and today we're going to show you how to get around in Candy Factory, a new new software title from Casablanca. <clears throat> to start out you want to ensure that Candy Factory is loaded on your system. Uh, you do that by clicking on System Settings and Install Product and you'll see the list of the software titles loaded on your system. Here we have Candy Factory version 1.0a. It is active. If you don't have Candy Factory, you can get a copy of that by calling 806-773-6044. Again, that's 806-773-6044. Uh, now that it's loaded, uh, let's get back to the main, <coughs> excuse me, the main uh, editing screen, and let's go into Edit. Uh, you can see I've been working on Candy Factory this morning, so um, let's go in and create a new color bar to separate the old from the new. We'll go ahead and add that a couple times up here. So we'll start our new session from this point forward. Um, I want to go ahead and show you the end result of some of the things we're going to be doing today so you can get an idea of what we're working for. Um, here's a really nice uh, title that comes in with custom bevel, custom shadow, and lighting effects. It's very, very nice. Um, by the way, that was a preset. I did none of that. And I'll show you how to use that uh, here in a minute. Uh, some of the other things we're going to learn how to do is how to uh, use Candy Factory to uh, give you overlays or lower one-thirds. Here's a nice example of, a, of an overlay uh, that Candy Factory has. Uh, Here's kind of a neon lower one third that, uh, and again, uh, there's there's about some like 280 different um, scenes that you can choose, and uh, there's millions of colors. So there's literally you know tens of thousands of combinations that you can use uh, with this software. So, and all these I just did in a matter of seconds. Uh, uh, very very easy to to do. Uh, and then finally, let's see if I can find, uh, let's try this five star. Here's some vertical scrolling. Say for your credits, it looks like a million bucks. Again, created through, uh, through Candy Factory. And again, it was very, very easy to do. And, uh, I believe it's taking the tiling for the Casablanca to the next level. Oops, got out of it. Let's get back into edit. All right, so now that we've got our uh, border set up here, um, the very first part of Candy Factory, it's really um, done with a, a scene A, which will be your background, and we'll put that on the left, and a scene B, which will be our title, which is uh, a white on black title. So um, real quickly, let's go in and uh, create a new scene and we will make it, in this case, a still scene. We'll make it out of a pattern. Um, in Candy Factory, there's over 239 polychromatic uh, backdrops that you can use. And they are, there's a lot to choose from. <laughs> Just about any uh, type of uh, background that you want. You can also choose from a different product. You'll see here we have several different software titles that give us images to choose from. Uh, uh, within this program. So let's go ahead and do uh, Candy Factory and on the type as you can see here we have several different things we can choose from. We want the 239 uh, polychromatic uh, images and we want, let's pick this nice um, and we'll just make it uh, 6 seconds roughly. 621 let's uh, trim this back Special split. Let's trim this scene back to six seconds. And um, <laughs> uh, let's delete all those. Don't know why those showed up. Anyway, we've got our six-second back backdrop. 
and let's go ahead and add this uh, to the storyboard. Uh, the next uh, part of uh, making a title with Candy Factory is creating a uh, tiling screen. Uh, the first part of that is creating a new uh, new scene. Uh, we'll do black here. We will again set it on uh, six seconds so we don't have to trim it this time. There we go. And let's go ahead and add that up to the storyboard. Uh, the next part is getting into titling and we are going to do uh, let's just do uh, flying letters uh, again you can do let's see flying letters you can do really anything you want to you can do vertical scroll in out fading pages uh, really anything that you want to uh, let's go ahead and add this to the storyboard and you can notice our our tiling length is six seconds and our background clip is six seconds so that's what we want let's go ahead and click on enter edit text and let's move our box up here uh, this is poker guys this is from what i was doing last uh... actually instead of recreating the wheel uh... let's go into our archives and load i've got something loaded in here called buddy um, there's a really big uh, t uh, text and um, the important thing here is to have white lettering and a solid black background to ensure that you've got true white uh, lettering go into text and into style and make sure that the color of your text uh, up here is set to the very top right hand corner I'm sorry top left hand corner and that your alpha is uh, moved all the way to 100 percent and with that done we're okay we'll okay again and we're actually done here let's go back to the tiling the main tiling screen and hit okay and we can preview this quick look of what it's going to look like okay now the next step here um, if you have pretty much any kind of Casablanca you're going to see this scene button right down here. If you have an Avio, an older um, older Avio, you may not have this scene button here, and you do need this for the uh, Candy Factory to uh, to work right. But um, anyway, what we're going to do is combine this background clip and this titling all into one scene and put it down in the scene bin. So let's click on Scene. Uh, let's go ahead and rename this to uh, you know Step Two. Uh, step two and we're going to go ahead and hit OK it creates the title real quick and if we go back to our editing screen which we can do by clicking on this wrench down here uh, here's our new scene we can play that and voila we've got our uh, we've got our white lettering on a back black background and we're ready to uh, integrate this into Candy Factory uh, highlight your background clip and go ahead and add your your newly created step two and now we're ready to uh, get into the transitions uh, we actually no longer need this clip right here um, so we can go ahead and remove remove this clip with this title in here we no longer need it because we have it down here um, the next step like I said we need to get into transitions uh, that is this little shortcut key down here uh, make sure that the candy factory is highlighted under the effects and let's go ahead and add it up to the storyboard uh, you'll notice by default all transitions uh, are one second for the Casablanca we need the title to last for the duration 